Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today's video we are playing Resident Evil 4's remake. Oh. This is going to be part 6, and it's going to be oh, commentary. Be that gate. So, right now we are going to be entering the castle of Let's Salamanda, and, you know, we're going to freaking be fighting the boss soon, who knows. So let's make our way through the door and see what the fuck's going on in this heresy of a castle, shall we? Now oh, then, don't mind all the screaming, guys, I'm sure there's totally nothing fucked up going on in here. Let's just get a move on, boys, shall we? No, yeah. I will admit this castle's game definitely gave me some fucking creepy goosebumps vibes. That's a fucking damn sure, like seriously. Well, that's just real pleasant. What in the fucking hell? What in the fucking god's name is that thing? That thing looks like a fucking mixed breed of a demogorgon from fucking Stranger Things and a mix of a fucking, uh, worm. Or a face hugger from frickin' al aliens. The actual fuck. Well, guess what? I'm sh nothing's totally resistant to bullets, so let's just keep letting this motherfucker up till he dies, I guess. And I have a weird feeling that if it grabs me, it's probably gonna eat me alive in some sussy ass way. If it's gonna grab me, it's just gonna chomp me and eat me alive. Or something weird shit. Yeah, this looks like a demo board mixed in with a fucking uh, face hugger. Or a fucking worm from aliens. Like, what the fuck? Is it? Yeah, how you like the little SMG, bruh? SMG gonna kill your stupid ass. They like that, you did. But my concern is that there's one of those things that's probably like 30 more of those fucking guys like that, man. It's gonna definitely gonna be more of them. There ain't no way that that's just the only one. And if that is, I'm gonna be definitely shocked because that's some weird ass fucking shit right there, dude. Like, oh my god. Y'all may have tons and tons of medieval stuff, catapult swords, knives and shit, but guess what I have? I have tons and tons of fucking guns. I have tons and tons of guns like John fucking with me. Y'all did not intimidate me for shit, bro. My, my suitcase has like fucking over like 20 guns in it, bro. I'm not scared of y'all little medieval looking asses, because guess what? Bolts pretty much go through and destroy every single type of weapon you have. Your shields are not bulletproof. The only thing that's threatening you right now is your goddamn catapults. But once that's gone, I'm not really scared because I have tons and tons of fucking guns. And guess what? Bullets kill you. Your little sword of maces think it's about being stabbed and hit by those a few different times. But I'm not really into any ass shit. But let's go take care of that annoying ass fucking catapult, shall we? Because that shit's a pain in the ass. It's actually looking on my fucking nerves now. So you can effing hit by it. Now she keep getting. Yeah. Out of the way. Take in. The fucking Leon's deadliest kick in the world. It just one taps you hit into a wall. It just one taps your ass. Fucking deadliest kick possible, dude. Like, holy shit. The deadly kick of Leon S. Kennedy. And you guys can face bitch, I like that. And look at the catapult the strike that blew up. I okay. blew it up. Because guess what? You dumbasses have gunpowder next to your catapult. All I gotta do is shoot and it pretty much goes boom. So I'm not with that concern, like, at all. So, yeah. At this point, guys, I think Leon is not just a Navy SEAL. I think he's also he's secretly a karate right. master. Because my man's kick and martial arts skills are deadly as fuck, bro. He one-taps kick people in the fucking wall. His kick is as powerful as Hunk snapping somebody's neck, bro. Like, oh my god. This man one-taps people with that effing kick, bro. It is as deadly as snapping someone's goddamn neck like Hunk does. Like, I swear to god. Spread out. Got it. Oh yeah, but if you guys don't know too, like, we're getting pretty close to being this game. This is part 6, this game has 16 chapters, so we're definitely getting there. We're definitely getting close. If you guys don't know, really soon I'll be having my uh, Dead Island 2 playthrough series up real soon that game comes out. But that game really looks good as fuck. But, 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 I'm, I am, I'm probably gonna do a poll. See what you guys, what guys, game, what game you guys want me to go play for our next. The options are gonna be like Jedi Fallen, Jedi Survivor, or Jedi Island 2 or something. So, so when I get my hands on both games, I'm gonna see what you guys want to play next. Oh, wait a minute, hang on, hang on, hang on, bro, hang on. We get to use cannons? Oh, fuck yeah, I get to use a cannon against the catapults. I'm not gonna bitch about balancing issues or how broke that's gonna be compared to catapults, but. If the motherfuckers had cans, why the hell didn't they use that against me instead of effing catapults? 
Probably because it'd be too fucking but you know what? Okay. Let's okay. go break their Sorry. fucking stupid ass. Cause guess what? We have cans now. I'm not scared at all. I'm actually happy right now. I'm gonna stroke F the annoying ass fucking cannibals and then destroy everything else annoying ass motherfuckers, so yeah. Motherfuckers, that's what I have a can I have a fucking I have a cannon now, bro. Y'all do not scare me no more. I am not phased one fucking bit, bro. I have a goddamn effing cannon. I'm not that scared. And a flower. Get off the child. Bro, you don't know how old she is, bro. She's like 16 years old. You could go fuck it off of her. Cut a flower, old man. Fuck. Hey look, it's a zealot. This just scolds up. I have some issues to take up with your management. This place is a health violation of ocean standards. I'm gonna have to uh, kill you now. Your, your Firing again. Hey, how do you dumbass like getting shot by a cannonball? I'm not very pro, is it? And it blows your uh, torso in half. It's got a pretty much fucking character. We move down, goes the door, goes nuts. They breached the gates! Hold the line, they breached the gates! They just destroyed our catapult, sir! What are you fucking idiots doing? That's probably what they're screaming in the background. Whoever's in charge of this place. <laughs> oh god, I love cannons in this game. It's fucking funny as hell. But I'm still not gonna lie, guys. I'm gonna keep smashing with every video. This game definitely takes hard imper- This game is definitely a good game, and I'm actually having a fucking major blast playing it. But on a serious note, though, guys, I'm sorry. I know, I swear to God, I'm gonna keep saying it, guys. That Resident Evil Village definitely took some hard, hard inspiration from this game, 100%, bro. Like Villager took some hard inspiration from this game. That's for fucking damn sure. Like, oh my God. Welcome. That's my welcome to my castle. Oh my God. It's a, it's a worm, British midget. And he has oh, gray hair. For you. Who the hell are you? Indeed, oh, I know, right? Call me Ramon. What is with all you horny, old, creepy old men that want this 16 or 17 year old girl in your clutches, bro? I don't know what kind of weird shit you're about to do to this girl, but I ain't gonna let that shit slide, bro. Alright. Oh, damn, I love how Leon's calling a midget fat. But this guy is a small old midget, bro, and he's calling him fat as fuck. Mr. Kenny, how noble! How foolish! How stupidiot. Nonetheless, you see the girl. Nonetheless, you see the girl must be ours. The girl, as the very source, as the very your United source, States, your the United United States, world, and your entire world, world shall with overflow with His grace. Is the iron will For that is master. the iron will of our the master, the most holy Lord, Lord Saddler. So what the hell is this shit? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yes. What is this? this is like what is this? Never. A fucking cult, bro? You heard the lady. Can't tell if these guys have like their own army or if they're just a cult, bro. It's so you fucking sure weird. Like, I just can't tell if they're a cult or an army at this point, bro. Now that he has chosen death. On a serious another part, though, you know what's even a bit more weird, guys? Is that, like, uh. Um, I love everybody else is taller than the midget. That's the funny part. He's so small, tall, and then so small and short, and everybody else is taller than him. <laughs> Quick scope, guess what that message is? Shields can't block bullets, bro, so at this point, y'all should come back and make the system bombers, bro. If y'all can't get my face and do anything, y'all gonna die. Either way, or I feel like, yeah. Get the fuck off me, you treasonous bastard! I'll kill you now! You know, this guy was so much like master, bro. Did I, did I basically enter a medieval version of the or some shit, bro? Ah, I've been stabbed by a scythe, so intimidating. Take quick scope in the head, bitch. Oh, I heard a lot of fuck. No, no, seriously, though, guys, did I, did I seriously enter, like, a medieval, like, no version luck. of Star Wars? Because all I keep hearing is Master, Apprentice, Master, and Apprentice, like, left and right. I don't know. No Weird. Good. It's, like, not good. We must keep on looting and looking around for shit. Because if you guys don't know, Leon has a plant... He, Leon has a plant fetish, and he also has, like, a loot fetish. He loves looting, he loves eating plants and consuming plants for some reason. Don't ask why. The other side. Oh. He's just very, very weird like that, so you know what I mean? I just remember it's gonna do, guys. Mario eats mushrooms. Sonic loves rings. Okay. Leon loves eating plants. I s Does anybody else here see a pattern or is it just me? Like, seriously. 
Leon to his future kids in the, the future. See, so back in my time, Shunny, I worked as a U.S. federal agent. I'm a way to end when one of my jobs when I first started to cop with that was zombie apocalypse. And another instant, I was sent by the U.S. prison to go save his daughter from some crazy ass delusional cultists that were infected with some kind of parasite. And then motherfuckers were annoying as fuck. They all use medieval weapons. They use fucking catapults. They they dressed up like crazy ass creepy pedophiles, and they had skull and zealot masks on, and the whole nine yards. But eventually, I prevailed one way or another. I killed my former master. I killed the British midget. I took on the crazy cultist leader, and somehow I came out of it unscathed as fuck. But what? But the only thing that I gained from that whole circumstance was more PTSD and more fucking more questions and answers. But you know what? That's for another time, my dear ch grandchildren. Cause I got that kind of gotta go take a nap now. Well, this is very inconvenient. I guess. I guess Romano forgot to install more doors into his base because I keep finding sick of like broken parts of the wall. Oh, lovely! We just entered a torture chamber, my favorite place in any kind of game. People always strung up on the walls, cut open. Oh, what do they do? They keep animals down here or something? No, bro. I'm gonna tell you something, Ashley and Leon. This place is a medieval torture dungeon. Every single tool you see here, they've used in past medieval times to torture, mutilate, and fucking brutalate people to death. It's not a very pleasant. It's a pretty fucked up place. It's not pleasant at all. And this soul. I feel bad for this poor soul right here. Like, oh my God, Jesus. Ahumaroto. Bro. This man needs to get better ocean standards, bro. What the actual fuck? Right, there's something behind me, isn't there? What in the fucking hell is that thing? What in Jesus fucking Christ, bro? Oh, you're... Oh, so you can't see me. You're blind as fuck. Oh, yes, he is indeed. I mean, yeah, he is. I actually feel bad, feel bad for that guy. They fucking ripped his eyeballs out of his fucking head, bro. What the actual fucking hell? That's fucking brutal. That is fucking brutal, man. Jesus Christ. Oh fuck, it's following me too. Oh no, it's fucking following me, man. What the fuck? It's actually following me. Bro, I thought it's not able to fucking see me. And I'm not. I'm. Wait, what's behind me? Oh fuck, it's coming. It's coming! Oh fuck! Jesus! No, get off me! Run! Retreat! Cock the shotgun! Run away! It's got a giant car. Are you like that, motherfucker? Like shotgun pellet to your back, you dipshit. Hoorah! Alright, so I gotta fucking find some vents to heal up. I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna survive. You know, I mean, I'll just quickly stop. Keep away. Heal them up now. Let's get in your face, shot, boy. Ah, get shotgun. Get shotgun in the back, motherfucker. Chuck, chuck, bang, chuck, chuck, bang. But the series of this, this guy reminds you of the Predator, but like a human being all fucking mutilated and fucked up with claws attached to his hands. No, better, he reminds you of the pre a, a basically a blind version of the Predator mixed in with fucking Shredder from Teenage Mutant Turner. Like, oh my god, look at those claws. Look like the fucking Predator claws mixed in with like a version of a steroided jacked up Hulk. Mixed it with the Predator all in one Oh my god. If this guy was not blind, I'd pretty much be fucking dead right now. 100% dead. Like, if this man was not blind, I'm pretty sure I'd be dead. dead ass. I'd be fucking dead. 100% if he was not blind. Let me just uh, creep on over to him and get the final shot on him to finish him off, shall we? Because this man. Because no, this guy can't see me, he can fucking hear footsteps. So some like from other video games, you have blind enemies. You gotta walk, walk very, very slowly and be extremely quiet and not let them see you. If you walk quiet, you should just tap them. There you go, he's dead. Nice. I just killed his ass. I might finish him off with a one shot from my. I think this is a. I think this is a 50 cal sniper rifle. I don't know. Might even make a, a lower caliber sniper rifle than that. But actually, my bad. It's a hunting sniper. But this still did a lot of damage to him, bro. Okay. Sorry, I'm yawning there again, guys. My apologies. What I was trying to say was, it's not like it's not like a high caliber sniper rifle. It's a hunted sniper of this rifle they use for deer. But even then, if you get some headshots and some shots from the weak points, it can do a lot of damage. Even if it's not a high caliber sniper rifle. 
Oh, oh so what happened down there? Ashley? Nothing. You're Nothing. Right you're worried about animals, though. Yeah, you don't want to know, kid. kid. If I tell you, girl, you're going to have nightmares and you're going to have high you PTSD okay? for this whole circumstance. Yeah. For now. I mean, you already are, but like, you're, it's going to be worse for you if I tell you what the fuck happened down there. I'm sh you don't want to know. Trust me, kid. You don't want to know what I've just witnessed and seen. Like, seriously. It's not for the face of the heart. And for being a real kid, you don't really have a strong heart. You're already, like, pissing yourself over half the enemies in this place as it is. I don't think you're, you're going to survive me telling you what's going to happen. You're going to be shooting yourself if I did, so I'll keep it up for debriefing with the uh, president later on. Wow. Hey, guys, look, it's my favorite thing in any kind of game, guys. Fucking puzzles. I do love my fucking puzzles, don't I? You guys know me for a while, I fucking resent and hate puzzles on the high cal highest caliber possible. Dumb things are annoying as fuck, I can't stand them, I fucking hate them, I resent puzzles. So strong to an extent, like, oh my god, what the fuck. I can't wait to beat this game, guys, because supposedly, the ending cutscene, you get to talk to Joe Biden. Joe Biden is the ending cutscene president of the game, supposedly, you get the Joe Biden ending. I guess supposedly Joe Biden in this universe is canon, canon now. It's a canon Joe Biden ending or some shit. This, this Are you fucking kidding me? Another time? puzzle, dude? Just what is with these games wrong. always giving me fucking puzzles, guys? I mean, even if they're simple, it's still a pain. Yes, I hate puzzles. Someone's gonna type in the comments, well, why the hell are you playing Resident Evil if you don't like puzzles? Well, I mean, I like Resident Evil for the action, don't the even fun think about trying this yourself. And the fun gameplay mechanics. I don't like the fact they have so many goddamn puzzles. Jumping across That's the only thing I don't like. Does that. Like everything else in the game, but the puzzles. Like they're a fucking pain in the ass. Like oh my god. Looky looky. Oh shit. Okay, so. All right, so if I somehow destroy this damn thing, we can unlock a shortcut right here. That'll definitely be helpful for when I have to come back here for future preferences. Future preferences for like for like um treasure puzzles or collectibles and whatnot. So I'll guess I'll just knock the shortcut down. Real quick. So I have that. Go back in there. Let's talk about Am and all that jazz. Got it. Got it. Got Good. 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 Cut to the doorway right here. Let's make it start making our way to where we gotta go, shall we, boys? <laughs> oh great! It's the fucking British, the British midget back on the radio again. That's real fucking pleasant. Isn't it? What the actual fuck? But yeah, if you guys did enjoy today's video, um, I will have part 7 up as soon as possible, but it might not be, I'll try to, I'll have it up as soon as possible, I swear. But if, like I said, if you guys did enjoy today's video, like and subscribe as you play our place.